Hello, everybody. It's Ricky Rocket, Rocket Vlog, Episode 2. I'm coming to you from my garage, the Fallen Angel Customs Garage here in sunny California. But before I talk about California, I want to talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers and how I'm bummed that they're not going to be in the Super Bowl. Um, they did had an awesome season, and I'm very proud of them. I'm just going to have to get behind the Eagles now because they're my other Pennsylvania team, and I am a Pennsylvania boy. So this week was a little bit odd because I didn't get to do all the things I wanted to do. Uh, I had to go down to the hospital and get blood tests, and anybody that's been through the stuff I went through knows how it's tense. It's worrisome. But I'm great. I'm, I'm, I'm all good, so we're good with that. Later this week, I was able to do some fun stuff. And one of the fun things I was able to do is pick up a new camera. What you're seeing me talk on right now is a Red Digital Cinema Scarlet W. It's an amazing 5K camera, but it's a big camera, and it's not practical for running and gunning. I mean, arguably you can if you have a little bit of a crew, but for vlogging type running and gunning, I don't think so. So in those cases, I've been using my Panasonic GH5, which is a great camera. It's cinematic as well. It shoots in 4K. It's got a flip out screen so you can frame your, your shot of yourself, but it is heavy and it isn't something I have mounted it in my truck, but it's a lot of rigging to, to really get it right. I'm in a constant quest to make things look as good as I possibly can make them look. I say, you know what I say to compromising? I say, you don't want like this major setup every time because if you have this major setup you're gonna miss stuff because you can't grab it quick enough for instance like like last week there was like a, a whole family of deer in my yard I wanted to sneak out the video of the deer what am I gonna do with this turn on a light because it was low light it was in the morning you wouldn't have got it you wouldn't have seen it, it just wouldn't have wouldn't have been there is there such an animal as a professional point and shoot camera that I could use for vlogging? Now you can go all over the internet and there's tons of people that talk about it in their reviews. Guys do really great tech reviews. I mean, there's like that Casey guy in New York. I mean, he's awesome. I don't skateboard in New York City, right? So what I might do though is rock and walk a tightrope like uh, over the North-South Interstate 5 Sacramento sign. What I wound up with is the Sony RX100, and I go to Best Buy and pick it up. I'm gonna take you along, but this is what it looks like. You get it in, huh? I have it on a little tripod stick here. And there's a lot of pickup trucks in this parking lot, and I'm another one of them. I can go face to face with a Ford right here. Otherwise, it'd be like the perfect camera. Because it, the, it, the low light is phenomenal. Yeah. So you can't have the flip out screen. This does everything that does, but it's just not as, but it's really light. If you feel this, you'll be like, wow. Yeah. All right, guys, so we picked up the Sony RX100. Hey. If we like how this works for a small vlogging camera, let's get in the car, let's hook it up, and let's try it. Yeah, I have my glasses on. I'm old. So what? Sony RX100, okay? That's what we're gonna unbox right here in the truck. I'm unboxing right now. Are you getting this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so this is me. You're gonna hold two cameras. Well, how am I? Okay. I get paid extra for this one. <laughs> for filming. I'll tell you, if this works well, yeah. this thing is just awesome because it's so little. Oh, jeez. All we need is a decent mic and we are so set, you know? The, I mean, the, the light doesn't look bad on here. 
and we'll see what this audio sounds like. I, it probably won't sound good, you know, but we can use that audio. And that'll give us an idea of what, isn't that what you just said? But you know, when we're just doing small things like this uh, in, the, in the car, it's what I want. Um, this little guy is a powerhouse. It's amazing. Uh, 4K video is more than 20 megapixels. Uh, it shoots in slow motion, but it doesn't have a mic input. And a lot of people are bummed about that. I'm gonna do a full review on it Probably my next vlog, if not the one after that. I don't know. I got Nam coming up, so there's cool stuff to do with that too. Earlier in the week, I went and got my hair cut. Uh, and while I was getting my hair cut, I talked about the Logan Paul controversy. So I'm at Nicole's, and Nicole Venables is uh, Ruby Begonia. And this has been my girl for 18 years, cutting my hair and all that stuff. And so I'm comfortable with her. She's comfortable with me. We can pass gas. It's like, <laughs> and here I am, I'm a brand new YouTuber and I'm getting asked about another YouTuber, um, which is Logan Paul, as everybody knows, who uh, revealed a dead body in the suicide forest in Japan and really disrespecting the culture. I keep getting asked about this. How do I feel about it? I, I think I'm like anybody else. I think that it was, it wasn't cool. I feel bad for the guy's family. Maybe he has a son or daughter or children and you know they maybe they see that of their dad. You know what I mean? It, it puts people in touch with um, their feelings that have had somebody close to them commit suicide. I, I think that the, the backlash has been so great that like what more are you going to do to the guy? You know what I mean? But I have a solution to it. MMA fighter Sakuraba, who is retired actually, Maybe he fights Logan Paul, and if Logan Paul wins, he comes back on YouTube, and if he loses, he still comes back on YouTube because we want to see the fight, right? I don't know. I mean, it's an idea, right? I'm yeah. trying to be creative here. Sakuraba would take it easy on him, you know? Well, wouldn't that be awesome? I took you guys along to go to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I am on my way to train some Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. What we typically do on any given day is walk in, get dressed obviously. And that Jiu Jitsu in the dressing room and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna put on here. I look like butt because I don't feel good but I'm gonna train anyway. Okay, so underwear, tight underwear, uh, rash guard, knee pads, my belt, my gi, there's my bag with a towel, fresh underwear, fresh socks, and I'll be back after I get dressed. You're not gonna watch me get dressed. Stretch, warm up, do some techniques. Professor Magno right there. Oops. Morning, guys. And uh, we're gonna do a little private here. <laughs> Got a good control here, right? Have a good control here. When you open this, slide this hand to the side. The other hand is going to come from the top. So, hold it. Can come out it. So, can go around the hand. So, we'll get here, maybe spot the weight. Usually there's like a, a variation, like three different variations of the technique. And then we drill the technique until we're really tired. And then when we're really tired, <sighs> then we roll. What's roll? We kind of fight on the ground. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna roll.
sometimes you're just so tired, you just go, I don't know, I can't do this anymore. Unless you're the lower belt than the guy you're rolling with, and he decides when it's over. Thank you to Renato Magno, who is my professor coach at Street Sports Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in West L.A. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do my best to keep it interesting and fun and just share stuff that I love. Uh, I think there's so many neat things in the world to do and have fun with. And uh, I just, uh, a lot of these things make me wake up in the morning and just have fun doing. And I, I, it's great to share them with you. I have some wonderful announcements coming up pretty soon. Um, not yet, not this, probably next week. Uh, I want to congratulate Sharon Zito for winning the drumhead. She was the first one to comment on the video, so we'll be sending this out to you, Sharon. Oh, I'm sorry, Jeeves. <sighs> Poor Jeeves. He's not having a good day. Anyway, thank you so much, and I'll see you later. Now, cue up the appropriate rock tune. <laughs>